Okay, so for this recorded uh, lecture, we will present financial statement analysis for uh, horizontal, vertical, and trend analysis. So we have taken Apple Inc. statement of operations or statement of comprehensive income in our discussion. Okay, and then we will use the information here to do some analysis on three analysis that I presented, horizontal, trend analysis, and vertical analysis. Let's start off with horizontal analysis. This is particularly on uh, comparing the current period against the previous period. So there will be comparison of the two-year statements as we, you, you, we can see in most of the financial statements published in the websites of the uh, several companies, they will have a two column format. So it's easy for us to do comparison. So the formula will be uh, the difference between the current year's number and then pri uh, previous year's number over the previous year's number. And then you multiply it by 100 so that you will see the uh, any increase or decrease in the performance of the company based on the previous year's uh, number. So in our example, okay, we have in year 2022, we have 220, uh, that's in, uh, that is in trillion, okay, 747 uh, billion, less 213 trillion, 883 uh, million, divide the previous amount, or the previous year's amount on products revenue and then multiply it by 10% you will see 3.21% so which means compare comparatively last year comparatively this year 2020 we we are calculating for 2020 there is an increase of 3.2 percent trend analysis on the other hand is comparing information for um, at least three years so what you will do is to determine the base year so you will use that as your denominator any figures there and then divide sorry get the different or divided by the current year or the one that you want to compare then multiply by hundred percent so in trend analysis you're trying to figure out okay whether there are increase or decrease in several years so it will give an idea or an overview for the reader of the financial report looking into those information whether there are uh, downward or upward trends. Using the Apple Inc's uh, information, we will uh, have 2018 as our base year. So as you can see here, we have 2019 and 2020 uh, comparison. In 2019, we have uh, 218, sorry, 213,000 or 213 uh, trillion, 883 billion, okay, uh, and then divided by the amount of the uh, revenue, products revenue in 2018, then multiply by 100. For 2020, that same product revenue from 2020, divide product revenue from 2018. Then multiply by 100. So from base year, you can see that in 2019, it got increase of 94.68% or 9468 against 974 So which means comparatively in 2020, the performance is better than 2019, but overall not, uh, not exceeding the 100, uh, which is allocated for the base year. So in a sense, in essence, that 2018 still did well in terms of products uh, revenue. So in trend analysis, mo, uh, if the result is higher than 100, then that is um, that means that the the account, or in this case, product revenue, had increased. But in this case, it's below 100, so it, it means that it is below the base year and uh, comparatively not uh, not really that uh, great or better than 2018. 
In vertical analysis, we will compare figures on a particular year. We will have to set a reference amount, which we will be the 100%, and we will compare each item against that reference amount. So for profit or loss items, we use the revenue as the re reference amount, while in financial position items, we will use total asset as a reference amount. So to calculate that one, I'll, I will present a sample here. Now the total net sales from Apple Inc. Uh, statement of operation is the reference amount for uh, uh, profit or loss accounts or items. Now we try to do it in cost of sales. So in 2020 report, 169 uh, divide 220, you can see here 76.81%. So which means the cost of sales is 76.81% of the total net sales. So we use this to compare amounts like, such as like expenses. Uh, it's easy for us to catch or determine which expenses or costs had incurring more okay, or contributing largely on uh, reducing the profit. And that's it. Hope you learned something from my recorded lecture. Thank you.